On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Greetings to you. We hope that you're having a wonderful evening and welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas, Day 6. And you know what Day 6 is? Six geese a-laying. What do you call a female goose? <laughs> a goose. I was expecting something very exotic, very exciting. Because the male is called a gander, but no, it's a goose. Why would you give a goose? Well, because they're very expensive. They are. I looked up to order a goose, just a chick, just a little chick, small little one, seventeen fifty. If you're going to get a big one for Christmas, you're going to pay seventeen, eighteen dollars a pound. That's a lot more expensive than a ham. Now, my question, I know that Beverly's been watching these. Beverly, we've got a question for you. Beverly's a CPA, so she's keeping us straight on our account here. Here's the question that I bet you didn't think about. If you've got six geese a laying, they're laying eggs, right? Do you count six eggs also, goose eggs? Huh? Or just the geese? Now, that's a question for you. Better think about it. I know you're counting all the gifts, and I know you're going to put that in the comments. Well, we're up to this many gifts, but I threw a wrench at you or threw an egg at you. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Dave Lucas, and we're doing the 12 Days of Christmas, and it's the year of the pandemic, and we're having fun, and I want you to have fun. You know how big a goose egg is? Well, a duck egg is two chicken eggs. In other words, one duck egg makes up two chicken eggs. It's got the same weight to it, same substantiation. A goose egg can do three or four chicken eggs, so it's the same size. That's why the, the, the goose that laid the golden egg would be a lot uh, expensive because that egg can weigh pretty heavy. Pretty exciting. A female goose starts laying at nine months. I didn't know that was that early, but I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, here's something. I don't know if you knew this or not, and I, I'm almost ashamed to admit this. Really, I am, because I was raised on a farm. We didn't have geese, so that's my excuse. We did have chickens. <clears throat> Do you know what? stimulates, this isn't x-rated. Do you know what stimulates the ovary glands for a chicken and a duck and a goose? Do you know? Huh? Huh? Do you know? Huh? <laughs> Daylight. I did not know that. I never thought about it, but I didn't know it. Why would I know that? <laughs> I don't know. But in doing this research, um, Chickens and ducks, about 16 hours of daylight. That's why they lay from springtime through the summer into the fall. That's why that when it gets dark, they stop laying for a while because the sunlight excites them. <laughs> Whereas geese do better with just 10 hours of sunlight. That's why they only lay in the spring, usually. They've never been domesticated, ever how you would do that, to lay year-round. And they lay 20 to 40 eggs in the spring, and then that's it. Once again, it's why they wished for a goose with a golden egg. Now, in the northern counties of England, I discovered, in reading ancient texts and documents last night, they only had 10 days of Christmas. Northern counties of England, and it's boring, 10 days. We, we like 12, right? 
But Thomas Hughes in 1864 in the northern part of England wrote this about the ten days of Christmas. Five running hares. I think he meant rabbits. Four ducks quacking. This is very boring. <laughs> Three fat hens. Same thing, right? Duh. Remember, we told you that French hens were probably fat hens, but then when they got over to England with the song, why well, they changed it to French hens because it's very exotic to import your hen. <laughs> Two doves, and then they were back to that one partridge and a pear tree. So that's just a little variation. Now, here's the thing I wanted to get to today on six <laughs> geese a laying. What's up with that? Well, evidently, this whole phrase, six geese a laying, really tears people up. Does it bother you? I never thought about it. I've heard that expression all my life, like six geese a laying. It's called a prefixing. And evidently, it was done in some of the counties of England, United Kingdom, some Ireland, and then here in the United States. What am I talking about? Well, let's think for a moment. I'm a fixin' to tell you about the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I, I hear that all the time. A lot of people tears them up. Really. I mean, if you do the research, it tears them up. I gotta get a, I gotta get a hold, I gotta get a hold of myself. <laughs> um, he's just a shining and a shining. That a prefixing we do that a lot. I guess especially it's done in Appalachia. Some people think it's because of the Irish background. So I mean that's fun, isn't it? I want you to stay with me, okay? <laughs> Don't forget to share this because we're having too much fun. That's called. A prefixing, we do that with verbs in Appalachia, but they do it in the South, too. It's not just Appalachia. Participles, nouns. Put it on, he, he's got a, he, he, he's, he's a nod in his head. <laughs> uh, you must not find this as funny as I do. So. Daylight, right? Who knew, right? So far, what do you like about this? Isn't this fun? I hope you'll join me tomorrow night. This is six geese a laying. Do you count the eggs too? Huh? Look it up. Figure it out. I don't know. Six geese. That'd be a pretty expensive gift right there. Not the most expensive gift, but a expensive gift. 20 bucks a pop, a pound. We'll have an index at the end of this program. <laughs> so I'm collecting all these and going to put them up again. So I'm so glad you joined me tonight. You ready to sing? Six Geese a Lang? Let's do this together. Don't make me do this by myself, okay? Here we go. I'll see you tomorrow night for sure. Right? On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying five. Golden rings, ah, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Come see me tomorrow. Bev says we're at 56 gifts. <laughs> Did she count the eggs? I don't know. <laughs>